All right, I'm gonna do a short video on the uh, service valve. Um, trying to take advantage of the nice sunny day. Um, so the sun's shining in, you can actually see the inside of this service valve. Uh, so there's a plunger in there. That plunger goes up and down, depending on how I turn this particular stem. Um, right now, this plunger is what we call back seated. It's completely at the top. Um, so I'm gonna, this tool here, service valve wrench, uh, this is one of the tools you will need to buy if you get into the refrigeration industry. Um, not expensive, but uh, I've got, oh, I have two here. I think I've got an angle one. Um, so over the years, I've gone through a number of them. I'm not sure which. This happens to be a K-Star. Um, Yellow Jacket makes them. Most uh, refrigeration tool companies make them. Um, made for different size valves, but the square, um, square head because the top of this is square. So this fits on there and it ratchets. Um, <clears throat> so right now, this stem is completely counterclockwise. So this plunger is completely at the top, allowing full flow between this port and this port. This access fitting is where you thread your gauges on. So right now with this plunger completely at the top, this is isolated. There is no pressure on this port. So it is what we call back seated at the top, back seated. If I put my gauges on here, I take this and I give it about half a turn. That's called cracked. So I've just turned it a little bit. I've made that plunger drop down off its top seat. Now there is pressure on that port. So I can put my gauges on, I can crack this valve, and then I can look on my gauges and I can tell what the pressure in the system is. If I need to isolate whatever this is connected to, whether it's a compressor, I will completely, uh, so this is ratcheting, right? But I'm just gonna turn it all the way around because it's quicker. So you can see, actually see that plunger moving down now until it gets to the bottom, which is called front seated. So now whatever is connected to this and whatever is connected to this can no longer communicate with each other. There is no flow between these two. So that is how the valve works. Most service valves have on them, I'm just gonna wheel this back out again, a packing nut. So you'll see, once I get this back here, right here there's a little brass nut that tightens down on the packing. That packing is what seals the stem, keeps it from leaking. It's generally recommended that when you turn these to loosen this packing nut, get a small adjustable and just loosen that off a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then when you're done, tighten it again, snug it. So loosen it when you're opening Moving it, just tighten it, and it takes very little. Um, so, a couple different schools of thought on this, and then you know, so, well, I was always concerned if you damage this, then you're kind of screwed, you're in trouble. Um, so, uh, you know, well, don't use an adjustable then. Well, okay, so here's a 7 16 wrench, it's a little bit sloppy. 3 8 doesn't fit, metric doesn't fit, so um, adjustable is kind of the, the way to do it, um, but I think if you're careful, um, that is the most important part, and then once you're done, tighten it again. Usually these valves will have a cap on them. It's always important when you're done to make sure the cap is back in place. So yeah, usually this is connected to say a compressor. This is where the pipe connects here. The valve will open and close, back seat, front seat, crack. Those are the terms that you're, you're going to hear. Um, 
and think, okay, so why do I need this? Well, let me just, I just, I had this clamp to the table just to make it easier to, uh, to see in the sun, but I'm going to, uh, I still got my compressor here. So that's what this would connect onto, right? So that valve's going to be on there like that. And uh, the advantage that this gives me is if my compressor fails, I've got these valves on the three ports that I mentioned earlier. Um, so you know, port here, port there, the other part is, is on the top and it's cut off so it's gone. Um, but if I need to replace that compressor, I can front seat these three valves. I can isolate the compressor and I can change the compressor without having to remove the whole charge. A uh, bit of an advantage there. Um, not always an advantage, but you know, in some cases it is. So um, that's the service valve. That's how it works. Those are some of the terms that go along with it. So remember the packing nut, tighten the packing nut, loosen it when you're going to use it, tighten it when you're done. Cap should always be on. These caps, even though the oil is back seated, these caps should always be on and tight. Um, so it's a few uh, pipe connects onto this. This happens to be a sweat. These can come in different configurations too. This is a sweat configuration. Um, they do come flared. They do come flanged. Um, so a few different configurations. Just happens to be a, a solder sweat connection on this one. Uh, so that is the service valve.